In this video, we are going to solve USACA 2019 December contest, silver problems, milk visits. In this problem, there's a tree, and in the sample, there are five vertices. Vertices one and two are connected with an edge. Uh, vertices two and three, vertices two and four, vertices one and five. And vertices number <clears throat> one, two, and four are assigned H letter and vertex vertices three and five are assigned G. And there are five queries in first query and in the second query we have uh, two vertices one and four. Uh, the path between them is like this. And as we see, on this path, th there are three cows, and all of them are H. That's why first query is uh, one. The answer for the first query is one, and the answer for the second query is zero. Next uh, two queries, there is a path between one and three. And as we see, there are two cows uh, with H and one cow with G. That's why both uh, queries are one. And in the last query, there is one vertex and it's assigned G letter, so the answer for this query is zero. There are two ways of solving this problem. Let's start with the slow solution. Uh, to solve this, let's draw a more complicated example. Let's assume that we want to find a path between vertex 6 and vertex 7. To find the path, we can use depth first search algorithm. And we will use a stack to maintain a path. In the beginning, we add vertex 6 to the stack. Then we see that there is an edge to vertex 1. We will mark it as visited and add it to the stack. Then we will go to vertex 3. There are three paths from vertex 3. The smallest number is 2, so we are going to the second vertex first. We see that there is no other paths from vertex 2. And so we erase it from the stack. And go back to vertex 3 and go to vertex 4 from it. 4. Then we go to vertex 5. And as we see, there is no other path from vertex 5. We will erase it from stack. Then return to vertex 4 and there is also no other paths. And we came to vertex 3 again. And there is another edge to vertex 11. Then we will go to vertex 13. Then we are going to vertex 7 and find the path from vertex 6 to the vertex 7. As we see, all the vertices on our path are here in our stack. 
now we can just look if we have a right car on this path by popping uh, the numbers of vertices from the stack and answer the query so in this solution there are m queries and on each query we are doing a gfs which on a tree will take us n operations and so the complexity of the solution is m times n to solve this problem faster let's start gfs from vertex one again but this time we are going only to the vertices with the same code type as ours so from vertex one we will go to vertex three then to the vertex 11 17 14 and then go back to 3 1 6 10 and 1 <coughs> this will be a connected component next <coughs> we are going to start from gfs again from vertex 1 2 and there's only one vertex in this component then 4 and 5 then vertices 7, 12, and 13. Then vertex 8. Then we are going to vertex 9, vertex 15, and vertex 16. Let's assign a number for each component. This one will be component number one, this one number two, this one number three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we divided our tree into connected components of the cows of the same types now if we get a query where both cows are in the same component for example uh, 6 and 17 are in the same component it means that there is a path between them uh, with only one type of cow or for example 12 and 13 there is also only one cow on a pad between them it's g cow and if uh, there are two vertices which are in different components it means that somewhere on a path between them we had to change types of cows for example vertex 2 and 14 they are in different components 1 and 2 that's why it means that there is a cow g and h on a path between them or for example 15 and 16 To go from 15 to 16 we have to pass through 17 that's why we also change components and there are also both types of cows on this path in this solution all we have to do is divide our tree to the connected components of the cows of the same types which can be done also using depth first search algorithm and the complexity of this algorithm on a tree is O n, and this solution will give us 100 points. <clears throat>